Preparation. N95 respirators should already be fit tested. Change into scrubs. Remove all personal items including jewelry, pens, and phones. Clean hands with alcohol-based hand rub. Go to a clean area, preferably outside patient's room, and examine personal protective equipment for damage or defects, and don in the order as seen on the video. Inspect personal protective equipment prior to donning. Visually inspect the personal protective equipment ensemble to be worn to ensure it is in serviceable condition. All required PPE and supplies are available and should be laid out prior to donning. The sizes selected should be correct for the healthcare worker. The healthcare worker should be assisted by a trained observer who helps to inspect the healthcare equipment. Perform hand hygiene. Perform hand hygiene with an alcohol based hand rub. Allow hands to dry before moving to the next step. Put on the first pair of gloves. The trained observer reviews the donning sequence with the healthcare worker before the healthcare worker begins and reads it to the healthcare worker in a step by step fashion. Next, Put on boots or shoe covers. The gown or coverall should be placed on next. Put the gown or coverall on and ensure the gown or coverall is large enough to allow unrestricted freedom of movement. Ensure cuffs of the inner gloves are tucked under the sleeve of the gown or coverall. Now, place the N95 respirator, stretch the elastic over the head by bending slightly forward, and complete a user seal check. Next, we have the surgical hood. Place it over the N95 respirator and cover all the hair and the ears and ensure that it extends past the neck to the shoulders. Be certain that the hood completely covers the ears and neck. At this time, you can place a full body apron to provide additional protection to the front of the body against exposure to body fluids and excrement from the patient. Now, we must put on a second pair of gloves. The second pair of gloves must have extended cuffs. Ensure the cuffs are pulled over the sleeves of the gown or coverall. Next, put on the face shield. Put the full face shield over the N95 respirator and the surgical hood to provide additional protection to the front and sides of the face 
including the skin and eyes. After completing the donning process, the integrity of the ensemble is verified by the trained observer. The healthcare worker should be comfortable and able to extend arms, bend at the waist, and go through a range of motions to ensure there is sufficient range of motion while all areas of the body remain covered. A mirror in the room can be useful for the healthcare worker while donning the personal protective equipment. Disinfect the outer gloved hands with alcohol-based hand rub and allow to dry prior to patient contact. Ensure there is a complete checklist. Go through each step methodically. No exposed skin or hair of the healthcare worker should be visible at the conclusion of the donning process. Preparation. Have disinfecting wipes or hands-free alcohol-based hand rub available in advance. Inspect for damage or contamination. Disinfect with wipe if contaminated. Disinfect outer gloves. Wipes sat out in advance or hands-free alcohol-based hand rub. Go to a designated area either in the patient's room near the door or an adjacent or joining area. Remove in the order as seen on the video. A trained observer is present to ensure that the removing of personal protective equipment is done correctly and assists if needed. They must disinfect immediately after. They also help inspect for defects in the personal protective equipment from treatment. Disinfect outer gloves. This should be done with either an EPA registered disinfectant wipe, spray, or alcohol-based hand rub. Remove boot or shoe coverings while sitting down. Be careful not to touch exposed areas. Disinfect and remove outer gloves. Disinfect outer gloved hands with either an EPA registered disinfectant or alcohol based hand rub. The trained observer must monitor the removal and disposal to provide guidance. Remove and discard outer gloves, taking care not to contaminate inner gloves during the removal process. Inspect and disinfect inner gloves. Inspect the inner gloves, outer surfaces for visible contamination, cuts, or tears. If an inner glove is visibly soiled, cut, or torn, then disinfect the glove with either an EPA registered disinfectant wipe or alcohol-based hand rub. Then remove the inner gloves. Perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub on bare hands and don a clean pair of gloves. If no visible contamination cuts or tears are identified in the inner gloves, then disinfect the inner gloved hands with the, either an EPA registered disinfectant or alcohol based hand rub. Here we show the removal of the inner gloves. Now we are going to disinfect. Don a new pair of gloves. And next, disinfect. Remove face shield. Remove the full face 
shield by lifting the head slightly forward, grabbing the rear strap and pulling it over the head, gently allowing the face shield to fall forward and discard. Disinfect inner gloves again. Now, we're going to remove the surgical hood. Unfasten the surgical hood, gently remove and discard. The trained observer may assist with unfastening the hood. Again, disinfect inner gloves. Remove, gown, and discard. Depending on the gown design and location of fasteners, the healthcare worker can either untie fasteners, receive assistance by the trained observer, or gently break fasteners. Avoid contact of scrubs and disposable garments with outer surface of gown during removal. Pull gown away from body, rolling inside out, and touching only the inside of the gown. To remove a coverall, tilt head back and reach for the zipper. Unzip, completely rolling down and turning inside out. Avoid contact with scrubs. Now, disinfect and change inner gloves. Disinfect inner gloves with either an EPA registered disinfectant or alcohol-based hand rub. Remove and discard gloves, taking care not to contaminate bare hands during the removal process. Perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub. Now, don a new pair of inner gloves. Next, we're going to remove the N95 respirator by tilting the head slightly forward, grasping first the bottom tie and elastic strap, then the top tie, and remove without touching the front of the N95 respirator, and discard. Disinfect inner gloves again. Next, we're going to disinfect the washable shoes. Sitting on a new clean surface, use an EPA registered disinfectant, Wipe down every external surface of the washable shoes. Disinfect and remove inner gloves. Disinfect inner gloved hands. Remove and discard gloves, taking care not to contaminate bare hands during the removal process. Perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub. Perform a final inspection of healthcare worker for any indication of contamination of the surgical scrubs or disposable garments. If contamination is identified, immediately inform the infection preventionist. Additional tips. Healthcare worker can leave personal protective equipment removal area wearing dedicated washable footwear and scrubs or disposable garments. Showers are recommended at each shift's end for healthcare workers performing high-risk patient care. For example, exposed to large quantities of blood, body fluids. Showers are also suggested for healthcare workers spending extended periods of time in the Ebola patient's room.